Okay, it's frozen in the house. Poor little Nini's is sick, guys. Poor little Nini's is sick. Now, what page was it on? Got all the gang there. Nini's gonna stay here today, guys, when I go to the gym. But she found one, a strawberry one. Which one is it? How's your finger today? Stings a bit. <laughs> okay, we're actually day two, and we've come up with our own concept. Now, I will go make this on the iJofus channel if this actually works out. So, five strawberries, okay? One apple, two apples because there's two of us. One orange each. So we get an apple each, an orange each, five strawberries each. We get a banana each. Where are the bananas? I don't know. And we get a handful of spinach. Um, any idea where the bananas are? Under the kitchen table. Oh yeah! <laughs> nice. Alrighties, let's get all this in here and make a tasty juice. Okay, so we're calling this the five a day, okay, because we worked it out last night. So, five strawberries, one orange, one apple, one banana, and a handful of spinach. And this is what we've got. We're calling this the five a day. <laughs> so, we're going to make two juices with this. Isn't that really cool, though, isn't it? A five a day. And I worked it out. Did you figure out that, like, I think it was like, that's like one, two, three, four, and five. Isn't that really cool? That's so cool! I hope it tastes good. <laughs> Probably will. Alrighty, so everything is peeled and ready to go in the machine. The machine! Do you know that peeling an orange is a lot trickier than it seems? Normally I wouldn't eat an orange if I just made it all white like that, but considering I'm just gonna juice it, it's okay. It's okay! Alright, let's get down to bee's knees. Okie dokie. Let's have a look sees. I was looking at a big blob of banana that sort of escaped. Ah, uh, look at that mushy mush. Goodness. Oh, it smells really different than the one yesterday because there's so much in it. Look at the banana though. The banana's kind of mushy in there. Like, I don't know. I'm sure that's. If you guys know a better way to do the bananas, like it says in the recipe, just plop them in, like, but. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's it. Like, maybe that's it. It's just funny because it's kind of mushy. So it's in mushy in there. You know? But, um, I think it helps as well if you have frozen bananas. Yeah, maybe that's what you need, frozen bananas. Okie dokie, well there's our little experiment. Look at it always, uh, see the way it, um, look at the way it's like levels because it's like some of it sinks, some of it rises. Let's get a little wooden spoon. Wooden spoon. Let's stir this around. Poker face. <laughs> okay. Uh, glassissimos. Glassissimos. Let's, uh, let's pour in this delight. Um, did I make chocolate milk by mistake? It's kind of what it looks like. It like chocolate milk. Yum yum. Yummy in my tummy. Let's give this a bad boy a shot. Oh, whoops. That's fine. I think these are fodder. You dripping on, on your hoodie? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. Good. You can taste like the orange. Yeah. Mmm. The orange is really strong now. If the bananas and the strawberries were frozen, it would be a lot colder. But I think because you put ice in it. I was just saying that we haven't had ice since the fridge defrosted. It's so wakey up. You know when you drink a coffee in the morning, you feel like, bing. This stuff is like my eyes are like widening right now. You get much more of a, a wakey up hit from the fruit than you do from the coffee. That's crazy. Imagine someday in the future I won't drink coffee. <laughs> That's just crazy talk. I actually figured out that if you actually hand wash it, because I want I want another juice later on, um, or I'm gonna try more a vegetable-y type one later on, but I was like, if I put it on a dishwasher, it'll take too long, plus I gotta use a dishwasher or anything. 
then I hand washed it and actually this little scrubber thing that comes with it I thought it was just for like for fruits and vegetables <laughs> but it's actually for washing this it's actually uh, really easy and it really cleans really well so it took me like about maybe three minutes to wash the whole thing down so I think I'll just hand wash it from now on because it's much faster plus it's more efficient because I want it again but um let's blow this joint let's go to the gym I was actually considering on my phone right I have four Linkin Park albums okay but if you guys have Linkin Park albums, you will know that every now and again they come out with a sort of a ballad song. Not a ballad song, but there's, there's the instrumental and the piano stuff and the more... <laughs> so I hate when I'm in the middle of like, you know, 15, 20 minutes in, I'm like... Aah! You know, and then in the middle it's like... Ding, 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 ding. And I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm like trying to bloody fast, fast forward to you know what happened the other day. When they, uh, when all the songs, the Lincoln, when I got through all the albums, because I never go back to the start, I always just pause it, and then I obviously had played through all of the albums, and it came to the end of the album, and then <laughs> I had put our, you know, the da -da 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 -da. I converted that because I wanted it as a ringtone on my phone, and then it just started playing that like, <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> that was kind of cool. All right, let's blow this joint. Let's blow this joint. Let's get out of here and blow this joint. I think you definitely kind of feel a little bit different, like, I know you probably, this is probably ridiculous and it's probably all in my head, but my body feels a little different, you know, like when you drink that and, you know, after doing that, you just, you know, you don't feel like you want other things or something, I don't know, you just, you definitely feel like a little cleaner or something, like definitely yesterday after drinking that juice, um, you know, when I was working away, I felt like, oh, I feel a little different, like, um, my body was a little bit you know, odd at the start, like going like, what the hell is this, you know, and it does feel a little funny, you know, but then I have to, I feel like I'm energized right now, so I'm not hungry, but then I haven't eaten what I'd normally eat, so, you know, it's, it's slightly confusing, but it feels good, like it feels fresh and it feels clean, so fresh and so clean, clean, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my god, I worked like a workaholic, guys, Woo! I am pumped up and it's raining it's horrible but I am pumped up I have no idea where all this extra energy came from unless it's because this is like the third week now and my endurance is sort of kicking in now and my fitness levels have have raised themselves a good bit and all but um oh my god I was like some sort of an iron man like 30 minutes I beat I get a new personal best in terms of distance because I always do the same 30 minutes like I did over the 2k you mean it takes you 30 minutes to run 2k? You get on an elliptical for 30 minutes at a constant rate and do 2 kilometers, okay? It's a lot tougher than it seems. <laughs> because we easy, we easily walk 2k in like 10 minutes, but like when you're on an elliptical, it's a little different like. Elliptical. Elliptical. But um, yeah, I was really proud of myself, like, you know, woohoo, making strides. And then afterwards, I was like, I'm full of energy, like, and then I did like, I did like, uh, like, I was gonna say a thousand meters, but it is a thousand meters because normally I do 800 meters. Is it a thousand meters in the pool? Which sounds quite excessive, but it's not as excessive as it sounds. Doing, I'm going to Tesco because every length of the pool is 25 meters, so a thousand is not that much. But uh, why are we going to Tesco? Why are we going to Tesco? Because I need to get some num nums. Oh my goodness, I am pumped up. Either it was this crazy fruit thing or the carrots last night or something like that, but oh boy, woo! Yeah! Okay, now I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna have a juice when I get home. So, what kind of juice do I need now after my workout to fill myself back up? I'm not gonna do a fruit one, but I might put a little bit of fruit in because, well, it tastes nice and it's sweet. I was thinking of doing some carrots, but then, you know, I heard that I'll turn an orange if I eat too many carrots. So, I don't wanna be orangey. Do you wanna be orangey? Would you still love me if I was orange? I don't think you're gonna turn orange. <laughs> you wanna get some of this? Celery crunch, go. Okay, what next? What else would I put in it? Um, I thought you could put like peppers. Can you put peppers? Yeah, I saw it in the recipe. Oh, but I, I eat peppers normally. Okay, something more hardcore. Yeah? Okay. Um, are they all the same? Yep. Get the Irish one. What else should we get? What about a fresh raw steak? <laughs> and a pizza and some french fancies oh goodness 
So this is my plan. I'm going to narrow down today, right? I'm going to eat a chicken and her pie from Cully and Sully, okay? Now this is fresh organic produce. It's quite expensive, but it's fresh and it's as healthy as possible. But it's the only thing I'm going to eat that's actually cooked today. Everything else I'm going to have is raw. But I just, I'm not ready to go full on yet, you know? So I'm like, I'll have one one cooked meal, one cooked meal a day. See, I know a lot of people are saying, why don't I just go and eat the vegetables or eat the fruit whole and all that kind of stuff. But like, you know, it might be easy for you to eat vegetables or to eat fruit whole, but to me, I've never really liked it. You know, like if I have like a non-bean sandwich or a salad or something, I just don't get any fulfillment out of it. And that was the idea of using the juicer because I kind of like the vegetables when they're juiced. That way I'm actually, it's better than nothing, isn't it? Because before I was getting zero a day, now I'm getting my five a day. I'm eating loads more fruits and vegetables and raw food, rather than when we tried beforehand to do this actually raw food thing and it completely failed because I didn't juice anything. I tried to actually eat all the products whole and like- That wasn't raw food though. Well, it was veganism and all that kind of stuff. It's close enough to it, but I just, I just didn't like any of the texture and I didn't like the taste in the food. Whereas this way, it's much nicer and it's just, it's more convenient and it works for me. I should say that, um, you know, some people in comments always say to you, you know, and this is not even in comments, this is just in general life, you know, if somebody, if someone says to you and you want to do something, for example, like I bought the juicer and I'm making juice and people are like, oh, that's a total waste of money because, you know, you're never going to use that and that's only going to last a week or you're going to quit or if you want to get fit and people are saying to you like, oh, you're never going to do it or no matter what it is, people will always begrudge, begrudge you and try and tell you that you're not good enough and you can't do it and, you know, that's probably more like the person who's saying it knows that they don't have the willpower to do it, therefore they can't handle the fact that you're willing to do it and they're not doing it, therefore they're going to tell you that they can't do it. But, you know, all you have to do is look at your own track record. And that's one thing that, you know, I've always definitely had is a really good track record of saying, you know, I may be lazy. Yeah, I am lazy. I put my hand up and say, yeah, I'm lazy, but I'm lazy and intelligent. And when you put the laziness and intelligence together, you can be pretty darn get a lot of things done. You use, you use your intelligence to find out simpler and better economic ways. So therefore you get the same thing done. So you can say like, oh, you're just being lazy, and, you know, you're juicing the fruit and veg. But I'm using my brain and thinking, well, you know, for productivity purposes, I don't want to eat the, the fruit and veg. But therefore, if I just juice everything, therefore I found a better way of feeding myself the fruit and veg and stuff. And in terms of my track record, if you go back to in the vlogs when we became when we tried that vegan thing and that you know um, vegetarian thing that didn't work for me like and I didn't like it. But what I did do is at that point when we did that, I gave up um, dairy, and I still since that day have not gone purposely gone out and eaten dairy. And I know like yeah I've had yogurts and I'm sure you know I probably had some dairy in my system indirectly through baking or something, but I haven't like I haven't purposely bought any cheese or anything and I miss cheese I love cheese I wish cheese was still in my life cheese come back to me <laughs> but I haven't actually gone and done it and that's the willpower that I possess and that's what I always do to myself when, once I prove that I can do something when people give you that negativity when people tell you you cannot do it all you have to do and say well it's okay that you say that because I know my track record and that's that's one of the videos I did which is like don't lie to yourself which is like if you lie to yourself and you convince yourself you can do something that you can't do, then when people tell you you can't do it, you're going to be even more, you know, insecure and bothered by that. But it's all about proving it to yourself and it's all about the baby step process. And that's what I'm doing with my, my carrot and apple juice, followed by this morning I had my five a day fruit and then, you know, I'm going to have another sort of vegetable type juice now. And then I'm going to go to freaking Nando's tonight, guys, and I'm going to have a butterfly chicken which is deep fried and all sorts of crazy stuff. But that's, it's not actually no, that it's bad. not actually that bad. But, oh. but you know what I mean? I'm going to, and people are going to be like, I can see it now. People are like, oh my God, I can't believe you went to Nando's. Yeah, I went to Nando's. You know what else? I bought jelly squirms, okay? I bought jelly squirms because it's all about baby steps, you know? And that's, that's the process of, of actually achieving something like, you know? Stay strong. I love you guys. <laughs> Hey guys, and thanks for watching another episode of the Zaconi Jolies. And don't forget to like the video and favorite the video because that would be awesome, mom! <laughs> and if you want to subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. There's no obligation. You just click that yellow button, click, 
And if you're the kind of person that likes to, uh, likes a bit of computer gaming, don't forget to check out my Winfield Games channel. Click! And don't forget, if you are a lady or a gentleman that likes to be stylish at all times, don't forget to check out Anna's The Style Diet channel. If you want to keep up to date with Twitter, don't forget to check me out at, at Jonathan Jolie and of course follow at Anna Sacconi. We also have a Facebook page where you can post your pictures or you can just basically put anything you want down there because that's what it is. It's a community page. You can also go to our friend pages, but until our friend pages fill up because of course Facebook decided there can only be a limited number of friends. Thanks again for watching the videos and I'll see you guys tomorrow.